What's going on Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. And I know it's been quite some time, so before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for being patient with me on these videos. I know I've been streaming the past couple days, but I haven't been able to record because I've just had so many appointments. If you don't know, I know it doesn't look like it, but I moved into a new house. You've run into a bunch of, let's call them issues, because they're issues. Run into a bunch of issues and a bunch of appointments we've had to make for things to get fixed on the house and what have you. There's a hole in my kitchen ceiling right now, but we are here for some dual links. Uh, so just quick for you regular shady people, thank you so much for uh, being kind. And for those of you that weren't, well, you know what, I, I get it. So. We got a lot going on, a lot I want to catch up on. One of the biggest things, obviously, is the Paradox Brother event. And for me, the highlight of it is not only getting to unlock the Paradox Brothers as duelists at 180k, but the fact that, look at all this gold you get. Okay, so you get 5,000, then you then you go straight to 10,000, I believe it is, 10,000, okay. Once you get, where is it? Is this 100,000 right there? Or was it 100,000 already right here? And that's 10,000, 100, and then two zeros. 100, two zeros, oh no. Is it only 10,000? Does it never get to 100,000? No! That was gonna be my highlight of the whole entire event. But it's only 10,000, so you can get a couple, you, it looks like you can get a couple hundred thousand gold out of it. Oh, there we go, now we got 200K, 200, uh, no, that's two, 20K, that's 20K. You can get a couple hundred thousand gold from this. I was hoping for a lot, 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 lot more, but unfortunately that's not the case. Why is my webcam so, ever since I moved, this monitor is so much more wobbly than it used to be. Um, I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure out what would be causing that. Anyway, so uh, you can get all those different rewards for battling them, uh, battling the Paradox Brothers at the gate, or they even appear in the dual world. So what I wanted to do for today's video is kind of go over, kind of go over what I'm gonna try to do. I have only, I think I've only dueled level 10 uh, Paradox Brothers so far this morning. I've just been grinding out keys. Um, but the unhappy deck is supposed to work just as well as, as everything else does. Uh, as it did for everything else, I should say. I don't know if we need the trap jammers or not. Uh, I, I, I don't know if there's gonna be any sort of trap cards. What I think I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go for uh, straight flush. Just cause you can always use that to clear your opponent's back row on the last turn before you do anything crazy. So uh, I think I wanna go with that. I wanna keep the enchanted javelins cause I have no idea. We're gonna battle level 50 right now and see what we can do. Um, I don't think we can, we could probably figure out a union attack version of this deck where you use the grave keepers um, and then double union attack since I have two. Uh, but that would be a little convoluted. 42, uh, 84 plus the vassals base tech. Yeah, it wouldn't be enough. We'd have to, we'd have to use blue eyes ultimate dragon in order to do it. And um, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna figure that out right now. I wanted to kind of, just do what I want to do, home. We, we still need another card. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, do it. oh, let's just put in two straight flushes then. Let's put in two straight flushes. Uh, the only thing, though, is that I, if we're going up against level 50, I remember them saying that uh, they're going to start with really strong monsters. But let's just see if this works. Let's just see. If this doesn't, we'll get to level 40 and, and do that together um, as well and see if this works for level 40. But we're going to jump right in to this special little thing that's going down. I'm not even gonna do their voices because honestly, I do not remember what they sound like. Choose one of the gates. The pa and then I try to do it anyway. The power gate is high risk, high return. Quite dangerous, but much you will earn. The dox gate is low risk, low return. Much safer, but lacking you may learn. The power gate or dox gate? I'm gonna go for the um, power gate right here. The power gate failed to survive the maze. Your choice may come, you may come to hate. Okay, let's take a look at the rewards really quick. This is what I wanted to talk about. So for level 50, look at this. It, it, you, you have a very good chance. It looks like your chance is very high to get super rares. Um, they actually added in Labyrinth Wall, which is freaking wild in my opinion. Um, that's a 3,000 defense monster. 3,000 defense monster. Oh man, the decks are gonna be ridiculous. Uh, of course, it's very weak to um, enemy controller. You just flip its face up into attack mode and then boom, boom, shkaloom. But if you go ahead and use the new other card we'll talk about later that stops all quick play spells, then it's a good deck. Um, extra gate, declare a level between one and 12. Your opponent banishes one monster of that level from their extra deck. Your opponent does not have a monster of that level in their extra deck, you discard one card. Very bad card in this game. Um, DNA checkup, select one face down monster you control. Your opponent declares two attributes. Reveal a selected monster. If its attribute is one of the declared attributes, your opponent draws two cards. If not, you draw two cards. That's interesting. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Uh, damage gate. When you take battle damage, target one monster in your graveyard with attack less than or equal to the damage you took, especially on that target. I think this card has some value. There's gonna be a couple decks that really, really like it. Um, I mean, for example, Warm Worm. Warm Worm is really, really, really gonna like this card. It's a, it's a little bit better than Regret for Rebirth. You just get it right back guaranteed. 
I used to have to take, what, Warm has like 800 attack, maybe, or even less. It was a pretty good card for certain decks, and it's a special summon. You trade a trap for a monster. Really good. Activate this card by targeting one monster you control. Banish that face-up target. Uh, when an opponent monster declares a direct attack, you can send this card on the field to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon the monster banished by this card's effect. I don't really think this is too good because it can always just get popped as a continuous spell. It, to me, it sounds like a worse interdimensional matter transporter. I know interdimensional only works for that turn. This will let you keep your monster off the field for as long as you want, basically, until you get a direct attack. So maybe someone can make it work for me. It just didn't seem worth. Um, we have a machine, 1200 or 400 Gigatech Wolf. We have Beast King of the Swamps. Aqua, you can substitute this card for any one fusion monster. This is a fusion summon, uh, fusion substitute. Then you have an 1800 five star, bad. Then you have a um, 1800 five star, also bad. And then we have Labyrinth Tank, just because gosh darn it, you need it. All right, let's try this duel. Let's try this duel. Of course, the deck will be on the side that we're using right now. And we'll see what we can do against the Paradox Brothers. I don't know how, I literally, I haven't versed level, I've only versed level 10. We'll see in the gate after this. I'm only verse level 10, so I don't know how this is gonna go. And I need your guys' help. If you've made it this far already in the video, I need help with like deck suggestions that you wanna see. Please leave them in the comment section down below. I was trying to climb to, oh, I forgot I reset my settings. Um, This new update. Final resolution. What are you starting out with? Gate Guardian. You shouldn't underestimate oh my God. No, 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 not auto duel. Not auto duel. Holy crap. Where are my settings? Are my settings? I can't even see my settings. Maybe I can't see my settings. Oh, there we go. I'm I'm, I'm absolutely problematic. Um, we want top down view. We want self chain on. We want the toggle button on. Three individuals doesn't matter. Okay, character lines. All right, so we got pretty darn lucky here. We're opening up with double enchanted javelin and an unhappy girl. I don't know that it can get too much better than that. I don't know what my opponent can do to disrupt me. I haven't seen this deck at all. I haven't seen anything about it. Um, just kind of wanted to go in blind and hang out with you guys today. I play. Now I know his voice. Kaiser Zio. So we can actually gain um, a boatload, a boatload of. Uh, I, feel, I, I feel like the. Is there a? I think there's a quality control, isn't there? I feel like the quality's low right now on my game. In comparison to what it usually is. Uh, power uses. Turn that bad boy all the way up. There we go. There we go. That should that should clean it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so his Gate Guardian's already locked down. Kaiser Seahorse is already gonna be locked down. We have 8150 life points. Opening up Double Enchanted Javelin was probably the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire freaking life. Maybe. One of them, I don't know. Also, um, I'm un I was unable to shower this morning, just so you know, because I like to share with you guys. When this card declares an attack, toss a coin and call it. If you call it wrong, lose half your life points. What? <laughs> You're not gonna attack anyway with this bad boy. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. What a cool card. Uh, let's see. Let's actually lock that down. Let's lock that down real quick. What was I gonna say? I mean, I wasn't able to shower, so my hair looks pretty weird. I apologize for that. Um, but uh, with the hole in my ceiling, it's actually coming from my bathroom. Uh, we should be fixing it tonight. And then I'm going to shower at my, my in-law's house later. It's all extra information during this farm. You see, you don't just come here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Or maybe you do, and you're highly disappointed in this video. If you do, I'm sorry. All right, so we already have our desk kangaroo and our big koala in hand. Because when you battle the level 50, you get a, at an extra 1,000 points anyway. Uh, it's not going to be the biggest deal if we don't get 8,000 base, but obviously in these events, you want to you want to unlock the Paradox Brothers as soon as possible, so you want to get the most points that you can get. So if this farm ends up working, that'll be great. Obviously, with um, with, with level 50 starting out with Gate Guardian, you definitely have to um, either get lucky, go second, and have and still get lucky. Oh, enemy controller, I have to activate it. I want to make sure I get my prismatic bonus off. Um, the other thing that's good is if you don't want to run. Whoa. If you don't want to run like. What are the words? Uh, piranha plus all the fusion stuff. If you want, you can actually choose to run maybe jowls because the game suggests jowls. You can steal your opponent's monster or you just run your econs. Steal the Gate Guardian, and then if you want to buff your Piranha with that, and then maybe some buffing attack cards, you can do that. Uh, you can even Ririoku and then and then uh, Martyr, because Martyr does the uh, original attack. 
It's attack into the attack. Oh no. Attack sense the monster. Never mind. It wouldn't work like that. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Read the cards first, boys and girls. Uh, but you can get pretty close to 10k if you don't, even if you don't have a uh, Master of Oz or a uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I set a card. Another Enchanted Javelin, although we don't need it anymore at this point. I'm pretty sure we're good. Okay, he's going to set another card. So that means we're definitely going to be able to activate Straight Flush on the last turn that we need to, um, which would be really useful. We've already activated a trap, so I'm not too worried about keeping these traps in my hand. I was trying to not use my other unhappy girl. I was hoping I would uh, get a Crystal Seer before. But now I'm just going to set Ray. And I'll tribute Ray off when I have to. I end my turn. Because no matter what, we'll be good uh, with this. Prepare yourself. Here I go. Prana Army, there we go. Let's discard the Crystal Seer. I'm afraid to set my fusion gate because I don't know if he's going to be able to pop it. Uh, there's a chance to be able to he'll have something face down like a wild tornado. Who knows? Look at these cards. What is this card? Negate the effects of a field spell. Whoa. So he can negate the effect of field spells if that card's out. That's wild. All right. Going to go ahead and summon Sangha of the Thunder. You're actually going to battle me. I totally forgot that you would do that. I just realized there's also a chance he could have a negate trap, uh, a seven tools to stop my straight flush. So I think I'm just gonna set the other one in case he does, and then I could chain it. Oh no, it's, it won't be a counter trap. Ah, that stinks. Uh, I either have to summon Piranha Army. Yeah, I'm gonna summon Piranha Army here. Oh, this is so risky. Um, yeah, let's summon Piranha Army. I guess it's actually straight flush now. No. What's more likely? Well, let's, let's just summon Piranha Army. Let's battle you. Now, of course, because I'm, I'm supposed to deck out, so they should never attack me. They should never attack me right now. That's, that's the rules of the book. Okay, end your turn. Sweet. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead. Let's activate Straight Flush, see what we discard from his back row, hopefully everything. Ooh, what did he have? Just for knowledge. R Double Ririoku and... Okay, so he doesn't set anything important. You really don't even have to worry about that. So this should be a successful level 50 farm on our first try. Which is freaking awesome, because I'm a scrub. Unhappy just makes things way too easy. Let's Secret Pass. Did I just do something wrong? Uh, I thought I did. I was like, I'm talking about how it's just so easy, and then I just I screwed it up. I thought I screwed it up for sure. Um, let's go ahead. Let's get Master of Oz out here. And Gift of the Martyr, this bad boy. We've already secret passed, so let's discard Master of Oz, buff, out, buff up our Piranha Army, and go straight up. Woo! This opponent, you failed to halt. I can't believe it. I won the duel. I wish Taya said I won a duel. So let's see what our very first like true farm is gonna be. What kind of rewards? Duel victories 2000. Okay, over 99.99 damage. Looks like we're getting nothing but gold, I guess. Uh, nothing but gold in chests, I should say. So we got to 8,500, so it's a 7K farm. We got 2,500 gold, which is fine. I really do want gold. But I kind of, I don't know. It is what it is. We got one Labyrinth tank. So nothing crazy. It looks like the drop rate's going to be another Joey event. Another fun time for sure. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's see what this, this goon wants to say. No, it's checkmate. You won by opening the gate. If you want to choose a gate again, find us in the digital plane. If luck is on your side, our reunion will not be denied. <laughs> so let's see. We get 8,500 times 20. So I think we just unlocked the Paradox Brothers in one freaking duel. I'm pretty certain we just unlocked the Paradox Brothers. We get all these rewards. Oh my gosh. Let's just skip all the way to it. I think that's insanity. We are guardians like no other. We are the Paradox Brothers. But this time we're not here to protect our maze. We're here to compete as fellow duelists. Such happy days. Because in this digital world, we have found something worth defending and safeguarding with, with our lives. It's what we are intending. We shall be the guardians of the title of Dual World King. Dual World King, there can only be one. Nonsense, as two brothers will share the crown. 
If you cannot defeat us, you'll never be Dual World King. Ha! We must sing. Because you will never overcome our ultimate protector. Gate Guardian! So the other thing I wanted to talk about is the Paradox Brothers has some really cool abilities once you unlock them and level them up, which is what I'm probably going to be doing today. Paro, we have a problem. What is it, Docs? Uh, well, our deck lacks three elemental gods. Inconceivable. Without the three elemental gods, we cannot summon Gate Guardian. Qua! How dare you, Kaiba? You sabotage us by not programming those cards into our deck. You know what? We will summon Gate Guardian even without those monsters. But how? With our skill. So Paradox Brothers has a skill, the Gate Guardian skill. I think it just starts out. I think th we'll check it out real quick. Let's check out the Paradox Brothers right here. Bam, new duelist. So Elements Unite, Elements Unite is, is one of his ability, one of their abilities. And they have, re they get restart from leveling up. And then their level 20 is skill, thunder, water, and wind, which I don't know what it does yet. I'm sure Game A has, um, Game A has what it is. Uh, but let's go over the rewards you can get. You can get Monster Gate, Tribute on Monster. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summoned or set. Just summon it and also send the other excavated cards to the graveyard. That's a pretty good card. Um, I like that card. Did you special summon a monster? Oh my gosh, I like that card a lot. Um, then you have a Labyrinth Wall, level 33. You have a Wall Shadow, cannot be normal summon or set, must first be special summon with Magical Labyrinth. Oh man, that's such a fun card. Wall Shadow has so many good memories from the anime with me. Uh, Magical Labyrinth, equip only Labyrinth Wall, you can tribute this quip monster, special summon Wall Shadow. So you can get Wall Shadow from your deck, basically. Um, I don't really know why you would. They're both through, I know that this has 1600 attack, but that's still not a lot. You get a D spell, you get another Magical Labyrinth. So those level up cards are kind of booty. Uh, except for obviously, I mean, Labyrinth Walls definitely have, definitely have plausibility. There's also a Remove Trap that you can get from him. That's fun. And Invigoration, an Earth Monster Code, this card increases by 400. So nothing too crazy. Um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the skill they start out with that they mentioned about Gate Guardian. It's kind of what I want to talk about. Oh, he has no skills yet. Never mind. That must be Thunderwater. That must be Thunderwater uh, Fire. But actually, if you check out the... I think it is it here or is it, I think it's in the notification. Oh, I have to accept all these rewards real quick. Receive all. Hey, I can't believe it was in one duel. I mean, I have almost 100k gold now. That's awesome. And I had, I think I had bought a card from the shop this morning. Did I end up buying it? No, I didn't yet. Invader of Darkness, my first one I get to share with you guys. So I didn't get to talk about the new cards that were added into the game because I've been MIA. Your opponent cannot activate quick play, quick play spell cards. Fiends are getting a huge, 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 huge buff. Huge buff. Because look at this. Invader of Darkness. This thing stops Econ. It stops um, Order to Charge. It's it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shift the meta so hard. Fiends are going to be one of the top like anti-meta decks um, because of this new Invader of Darkness. Uh, they're also getting support via, where is it? They're getting, the, they're, the Fiend Field Spell is getting added to the game. Is it right here? Yes, Archfiend Palabrin. So specifically for Archfiends, obviously, but all Fiend type monsters you gain, gain 500 attack, control gain 500 attack. That's incredible. And then you can build an Archfiend deck to special summon Archfiends from your graveyard with the same level. You can only use this effect once per turn, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's amazing. Um, you get that at 1 million points. So basically 20 of, five of those duels that we just did, six of those duels will get the trick for you. I just want to show you guys that I haven't actually dueled. Oh, I can't actually use the Paradox Bros when I do that. Let me switch real quick. Um, Taya. I won't underestimate you, Taya. Calm down. Calm down. Um, I think, I've, oh yeah, I've only done level 10. I haven't even done level 20 yet, but I figured, hey, let's just try it. Really cool to see it. Unhappy Girl still works. Uh, and I like this event already so much more than Joey's because they're in a stationary position and they're not um, changing. But what I did want to show you guys, where is it? Let's see, Spectator Mode is now available in Duel Room, which is going to be great for streams. Um, I can actually watch you guys duel or you can watch me duel. Um, actually, that wouldn't be for streams. That would just be like when I'm tweeting out, hey, uh, I'm going on. Now, where is where is the where is the information I read this morning? Where was it? It detailed. So the Paradox Brothers have an ability that changes any monster in their hand to a three star. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was right here. Here we go. OK. Uh, don't see it. See it. You can obtain rewards. Uh, this monster, okay. Paradox Brothers do this from my own time. For those, let's see this. This monster has a flip effect, let's control. Okay, I knew that, I knew that. This, what, where did it? Oh, here we go. Exclusive character. 
Paradox Brothers learned skills such as Elements, Elements Unite, which starts the duel with Suijin, Keizijin, and Sangha on your side of the field with only Gay Guardian in your hand. So that's pretty freaking broken. Like, if your opponent doesn't open up right, you can just go on a rampage and just say, hey, I, I, you have three big monsters on the field. Uh, what are you going to do? You can get Gate Guardian out if you want, or you just keep those three incredible monsters, which is what I would do. Um, that's just crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say about that. You could play the no no card no card in hand deck where you run like uh, Flash of Silence and Guy of the Swift Knight, and you can go in. Uh, but I, don't, I don't know if it'll actually work. But the more interesting skill for me is the three star demotion, which lowers the level of a monster in your hand by three. So it doesn't lower it to level three, but it lowers it by three. So it makes any seven star uh, down to a four star. So you don't have to tribute it. Um, so Labyrinth Wall could be free, no tribute. Um, Summon Skull could be free, no tribute. A lot of good monsters can turn to free with that skill. So I think it's a really interesting skill that I bet I'm going to want to play around with. So all in all, I think this is going to be a great event. I wish you guys the best of luck. Make sure you guys grind out those keys. And the only thing I wanted to talk about today really quick was to just go ahead and where is it? They've changed the skills, which is great. Switcher is gone, or it's, at least it's nerfed. Um, the new cards besides the one we talked about. So, Vanguard of the Dragon. You can send one Dragon type monster from your hand to the graveyard. It gains 300 attack. When this card you control sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can target one Dragon type normal monster in your either player's graveyard. Just summon that. So, for Blue Eyes and for um, Red Eyes Black Dragon, really, really good card. It's a 1700 Dragon, which we haven't had in the game yet. So, it's going to help Dragons be even better than they are. Um, we went over Invader of Darkness and Chaos Command Magician, which I do have one of. Negate the effect of a monster card that targets this one card. The only thing I can really think about this card is that it is a light, which is good. It's also a Spellcaster, which I like. Um, I love the art of this card. It's one of the most beautiful cards in the game, in my opinion. But uh, it really doesn't have too much use in this. It does counter Relinquished. So it is a card in the game that says, hey, um, Relinquished is super common. Let's go ahead and, 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 and counter it. So I can appreciate that for sure. Um, and then we have Doom Dog. Doom Dog, this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. Add one level eight fiend type monster from your deck to your hand. This could search out Necrofear. You can only use the effect of Doom Dog once per turn. So I haven't gotten any of these yet, but it's going to buff fiends again. So fiends are getting so much support between Invader of Darkness, uh, and this is actually three, six, eight stars as well. So Doom Dog can search out Invader of Darkness, which might, might be even better than Necrofear, uh, depending on how the meta goes. So do your best to get those cards. Let me know in the comment section below which cards you've gotten so far, and, and more important, not more importantly, but also let me know what decks you want to see in the channel for regular videos. Obviously today was kind of like a easing back into this, um, and I want to work on decks. I was really trying hard to get to King of Games. I'll show you guys. I was really trying hard to, I can't, I don't know what was happening, dude. I mean, and then I tried a really weird deck on, on stream and just kept losing over and over again. But like, I, I went on a huge win streak with, with Harpies and I was just getting kind of bored of playing that deck. Um, and I, and really to get to King of Games, you have to play meta, you do. So let me know what your favorite meta deck is. Maybe we'll bring that to the channel this weekend. And we'll, we'll start in Platinum and try to, I wanted to do a series where I start in Platinum 1 and every day we do five duels until we get King of Games. Um, so I'd really like to do that. I just want to know what decks you guys want to see. Uh, what's your favorite deck? So I can try them out and see which ones I like the most. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. And like I said, for the patience, uh, there'll be more coming to this channel. I know a lot of you guys think that because I didn't upload for like eight days that that means my YouTube channel was dead. That's not the case. It's just that, guys, I, life happens. That's all. And I know it was the vocal minority, but they are vocal. And I want to address them and say, hey, okay, I got you guys. With that said, though, I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.